And with me today is John Considine. John is the CTO of Terramark, which is uh, the cloud unit, I guess you'd say, of Verizon Communications. John, who are your customers? What sort of companies are they? So we focus primarily in the enterprise space, uh, and we have, uh, you have financial institutions using our cloud, as I mentioned before, the government, uh, retailers, uh, gaming. Uh, it's kind of the full spectrum. The sales model is changing, that you're not necessarily selling all the time to the CIO, but you may be selling to business uh, users within uh, a company or a departmental yes. level. I would, I would estimate somewhere probably 20 to 30 percent of our cloud comes from what we call cloud natives and it's exactly what you described. It's people coming to consume the resources. They're defying the stratification of the market, small, medium, enterprise, you know, all of these things and it is what we call, what we look at as a buying pattern somebody coming to the cloud to get the resources they need directly. And so we see that as well. And as we enable more methods for how to purchase the cloud, things like credit card pay as you go, uh, we're really um, welcoming that buying segment into our cloud infrastructure. I've always wondered, do you actually have people pay for the service with a credit card? We, we actually do, we do. Our, uh, we have our Enterprise Cloud Express Edition, and it's, um, it's an interesting segment because when we look at our business, the enterprise cloud, um, it's really contracted with a lot of the big companies. When we look at the Express Edition, it's, again, small transactions, but it's a steadily growing uh, a part of our customer base, and um, it, it's, it's an exciting thing to see, right? Because it's super low touch for us, super low cost of acquisition, and it's a great service. So people come and take it, and then they grow with us as it goes. Do you think that cloud has been uh, accepted by most enterprises as part of their technology infrastructure? Yeah, you know, and again, a great, a great question because I think when we see, you know, I look at kind of 2012 as a pivotal, pivotal year. Prior to that, we always talked about shadow IT. We talked about um, the fact that the business units, the users within the enterprises were going out and, and, and acquiring these services. And I would say that what we saw last year is it, it's really come out into the light. And that, you know, there's a lot of talk, chief marketing officers, the head of R&T departments, the development departments are acquiring services directly in the cloud and it's being recognized at the higher levels of the company. Now what we've expected to happen, and this has been a theory I've had for a number of years, um, was that the IT department, the CIO, would be able to come in and get control of the situation, right? They would be able to you know, work on compliance issues and integration and, and, and try to um, corral the work and at least provide more controls. And it's, I think it's starting to happen, but I'm not seeing it go that way yet. And I think, and I think you know, when we talk about CIOs and opportunities, I think that's really where the big opportunity is, is how do you become an enabler instead of an inhibitor of cloud computing? 